Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the latest build of Windows 10 16.273 and we are taking a look at what this build has new or not. So this is our kind of review. Now, okay, uh, it's been three weeks since we've had a build and uh, that's a kind of a long time. But it's very interesting because in three weeks we thought, well, maybe we'll have quite a new, a lot of new features to look at. So if you're actually watching this video to see the new features, well, there's not really anything much of interest in here. Uh, there's emoji notifications on My People app. So this is a brand new thing for the My People experience. So emoji uh, notifications. Uh, there's a new uh, Bonscrift font. So uh, apparently it's a new font available in this build. So uh, kind of interesting. And uh, so basically that's pretty much what we have to say. Now you're wondering, wow, in three weeks they've only changed that? Yeah, but there's something here that is amazing, is the amount of fixes in here. So that means that we're getting to the Fall Creators update very soon. So um, as for beginning, the install rate, of course, was very, very slow. Once again, uh, many hours of the initializing process. But I was using my PC to do other things while it was doing it. So I, I'm starting to kind of uh, think it's, it's maybe a good idea the way they're doing it. The preparing of the system. Now the install itself uh, is a lot, was a little slower than usual though. Um, I'm used to like 30, 35, 40 minute installs uh, when we you know, click the restart button. In this case, it was close to an hour. So it took maybe, I'd say 20 minutes more than usual, but still it was within one hour that this PC was upgraded, which means that, you know, this is a slow PC. It's a Core i3. Uh, it's an old PC. Uh, if, if I can get it in an hour of install in here, I think one of the things that is uh, interesting is that pretty much everybody will have it in a reasonable time. So, you know, you got to just forget about, um, forget about the fact that it, it takes, you know, four hours to initialize because that process, people won't see it. Just think about it. We see it because we go and do that, you know, check Windows update for a build. But think about it. When it is released, most people will not be doing anything. They will be just, uh, you know, using their PC while it's actually initializing and downloading and installing in the uh, background. Another thing that's interesting is that when the build arrived in the Windows update, it had a kind of a red, uh, little red icon next to it. And actually now there was a warning of, hey, we're going to have a new build now, a new installer, new version of Windows, which means it's probably going to be like that in the future, warning you that, hey, there's a new version, you know, of Windows 10 coming now. So it's kind of, uh, of interesting um, if you think about it. Now, when I installed the Microsoft Edge browser opened up automatically. And what did it actually show us? Well, the Microsoft Edge browser actually showed us, welcome to the fall creators update. So that means we are real close. Now it's interesting, I've, you know, used it a lot and I wanted to use it more because, um, it, you know, yesterday when I, um, I got this build, I had to go out. So I came back a little later than usual, which means that I, you know, when the install finished, it was really late. So I thought, why not? You know, I'm not going to rush the uh, review of it. I will use it before I can say something about it because I'm going to see if it's stable enough. What is amazing is for the first time, they have no, um, you know, known problems. You know, every build, they always tell us, well, you know, there's these known problems right now in these builds. Well, this one doesn't have that. And the amount of fixes in here are staggering. They have fixed tons of issues on the Windows shell, ton of issues in the Microsoft Edge browser itself. 
they have fixed ton of issues with the input um, you know all sorts of input uh, if you have a uh, touch device or not if you have use a pen or not if you uh, you know online uh, or on-screen keyboard or uh, every type of keyboard input type uh, mouse pad everything general changes and improvements and fixes uh, tons of other little things that they fix that there's tons of problems that a lot of people had so um, I'm not gonna of course list this because I'm gonna be here for like four hours just explaining the fixes in here but there's a lot of fixes and no known issues according to them of course doesn't mean doesn't have any but it means that we're darn close to a fall creators update so that's what we expect to have now really really um faster builds donna sakar did say it faster builds so we'll have more builds than usual in the next few weeks and that's you know what happened if you guys remember sometimes we had up to two builds in the same week uh, before the creators update appeared well now we're getting into that moment because they want to fix and stabilize stabilize the the build to make sure that fall creators update is ready to be launched so uh, hey we're in the uh, last run for fall creators update and uh, of course check out the uh, build announcements because we're gonna have faster builds now for the fast ring and even in the slow ring apparently gonna be more builds and faster builds also appear so that's pretty much what I have to say. Very stable build for me. Very, uh, the install went uh, number one. No, no glitches at, at all. Um, and um, I don't know about you guys. If you have tested it, what do you think? Check it out. If you have uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And uh, hope that you enjoy our videos on this channel.